Ici Billy Box Guitare. C'est quoi l'affaire avec Spiel? What's the deal with Spiel? This is what's the deal with Spiel. <laughs> Yes, the junkyard drum set is still moving forward. I just got the cables for it. I created a bank of preamps to make every trigger in here hypersensitive. Most drum triggers you need drumsticks to play, and so it needs a lot of force. With this, this needs to be hand percussion. So my triggers in here are hypersensitive. I mean, I'm just tapping this easily. Because my drummer Rick Stapina, he used to play a cajon, which is a wooden box, and he would have to slam it because we'd have microphones inside. He asked me to build him drums that were easy to play with the fingertips. This tom here needs to be rebuilt. The piezos didn't work right in it, so I have to rebuild the top. That's okay. Everything on this is Velcroed, so heads can be replaced, piezos can be fixed. And the bass drum even sounds great too. So this is what I've been working on. One of the big things is with this bank of preamps, I had to make sure lines didn't get crossed. So I went on Amazon and I ordered all these guitar cables in different colors. I'll move the camera around and show you the backside. So here you can see where the guitar cables go in the quarter inch Neutrik jacks. All this stuff is from CB Giddy. The jacks in here, the piezos, they all go into these color-coded guitar cables into my bank of preamps and then into the Alesis drum module. So everything is very, very primitive right now. I need to get all these triggers on the same touch. These aren't as loud as the snare is. I mean, the snare is just bombastic. I'm eventually going to put piezos in these two acid boxes that were put onto a drum stand and I will program those with some Latin percussion just for some added humor actually because this drum set is supposed to be humorous when you see it in concert it should be absurd everything about my band has an element of humor in it as well as being serious musicians who can take this seriously seeing all these old soda crates with drum triggers in them there's a symbol right here you really can't see uh, what I'm going to be doing for Rick is I'm going to create gloves for him that have metal finger picks on them. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll glue it on, rivet them on, but then he only needs to touch everything and even if he hits a cymbal, it's going to make a nice sound. This whole concept is still going to take a lot of time. It's definitely worth it to invest the time to do this because when it's done, this will be a central part of my live show. So in the next week, I'll be rebuilding this tom. To make sure that trigger works right i'm going to start working more on programming each drum and i need to have rick over because rick is left-handed and i need to figure out which boxes need to be what drums for him that's the junkyard drum set here's one of the newest things that i've just gotten yeah i'm still getting more guitars i've got a problem uh this is an alvarez baritone eight string <laughs> Now I've got this tuned to an open tuning. Usually this would be tuned with the lowest string being a B. So on a regular acoustic guitar, the low string would be an E. Well, this has dropped several steps down to B and I now have this tuned in an open A tuning. Now eight string, if you notice, the two middle strings are doubled, which is just enough of the doubled strings to sound like Lead Belly. Lead Belly used to tune his 12 string Stella guitar way down, gave him a fantastic and very unique sound. Well, this now has it. This guitar is fantastic. It just rumbles into your chest. I've got the edge slide from stubbyslide.com. This is supposed to approximate Blind Willie Johnson's 
pocket knife and I've been using it a lot because I injured my two fingers here and put the pick down and just give you a feel for this. <laughs> Alvarez eight string baritone guitar. Oh, let me see. check it out. This is what I'm giving away this week. This is a prototype. It's an amp idea I had based off of the Bose Wave radios, where the Bose Wave radio is a small, compact, but very responsive radio because the speaker runs through this big tube that adds bottom end to it. Well, I was wondering about that concept, so I took a CB Giddy a uh, cigar box amp kit and I put it in the bottom of this actual F sharp pipe organ pipe. This is a wooden flute pipe organ pipe. So I put the amp in the bottom and I have the speaker running up and so the sound comes out here in the flute of the pipe organ pipe. It adds even more bottom end to the CB Giddy amp kit. The sound just comes up and out. The acoustics of the wood and the whole design just add an extra element to it. And the other cool thing is you could do this. <laughs> I used one of the actual drawers from the pipe organ to house the volume knob and the LED light telling you it's on. And like I said, it is a prototype because I actually want to develop this with a much bigger pipe. I have pipes that are over five feet high, big ones from the pipe organ. And I'm going to be putting either an eight inch or a 10 inch speaker at the bottom with a tube amp and the sound coming out of the top. So this was my way of testing the theory and the theory was correct. So let's give this away. I am giving away this actual prototype. I will send this in the mail. So if you want to win this sucker, right here on this YouTube video, like this video, put a comment below, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you do all those three things, you will be entered to win this pipe organ prototype guitar amp. So make sure you comment on this video, make sure you like it and subscribe and you're entered. So let's do a new segment. This is what's the deal with Shane's bookshelf. Many of you have told me that you've paused my videos and done close-ups of my bookshelf trying to figure out what books I actually have on there. So I thought I would pull a couple out each week and uh, give you a little review. Afro-American Folk Art and Crafts by William Ferris. This was published by the University Press of Mississippi. It's essential, essential book. Originally published in the early 80s, this has a lot of great interviews, especially with Otha Turner, who did the Mississippi fife and drum music. It also has some great stories on diddly bows and banjos in here too. It's also a great interview with Son Thomas, great blues man, James Son Thomas, and it explores his sculptures that he makes from Mississippi mud. If you're into reading blues history, there's several chapters in here that you're just gonna love. New to my bookshelf this week, Making Gourd Musical Instruments, and this is this is by Ginger Summit and Jim Whitus. Uh, what do I think of this book? I just cracked it open yesterday when I got it, started going through a lot of projects, a lot of world musical instruments. We're talking from gourd rattles uh, and, and shakers and things like that to banjos, your gourd banjos. What do I think of it so far? Well, it's kind of disappointing how small the pictures are. Also, the chapter on the gourd banjo doesn't have enough information, in my opinion, on sculpting the neck. Um, I bought this at foxchapelpublishing.com. That's also my publisher, the ones that did Making Poor Man's Guitars. This is the one that's always on my bookshelf that you see. This is my book. And if you don't have it, I've got autographed copies at stubbyslide.com. 
This book has cigar box guitars, my electric wash tub base, and even how to make beer can microphones. So many different projects in here. If you don't have it already, make sure you get it. And over 150 new people and over 150 new people signed up thank you all that entered and now let's give this away to somebody on my mailing list if you've already signed up for it you were already entered so the winner this week of this week's guitar giveaway the CB Giddy Rodeo King is boom Mark Coulter Mark Coulter, you signed up, and you know what? I looked at your email and noticed that you have a pretty cool blog of your own, coulter.org. Check it out. The things that he has going on in his life, it's almost like what's the deal with Mark is on his blog. So cool website, and Mark, I'm going to be packing this up and shipping it out to you. That's what's the deal with Shane's bookshelf. So don't forget, make sure you like this video and leave a comment below and make sure you subscribe as well. You'll be entered to win the pipe organ prototype. If you want to support this channel, make sure you check out stubbyslide.com for my book, a lot of guitar slides. And then if you want t-shirts like the ones I've been wearing in this video, these are at guitarrags.com. That's how you keep this channel going. Thank you so much. My name is Shane Spiel and we got a lot more content coming soon. <laughs>